So now that we finally have crossplay in the Halo Master Chief Collection along with Halo 4's release on PC, this is the biggest update yet 343 has done. The question I get from most people is that, did crossplay repopulated Halo? Let's talk about it. Before crossplay came to the Halo MCC, I was literally struggling to find players to play with. It was difficult for me to, to you know, to have a full stack in my lobby, and it was also difficult to find matches too when, when I solo queue. Whenever I go live on Twitch, I always ask my viewers, do you have Halo MCC on PC? And most of the time, the answer I get is, I play Halo on Xbox. And believe me, it was frustrating. But now since crossplay has finally made it to the Halo MCC, it has changed things drastically, because now when I boot up Halo MCC, I'm always playing with someone. I'm no longer playing alone anymore. I'm always playing, you know, in a stack most of the time. When I decided that I want to play some Halo CE B2B matches, out of nowhere, I got a full stack already in my lobby. I invited the people that were on my friend list and also the views from my streams, and we got into a full stack already, you know, right off the bat. Uh, you know, my reaction was like, oh, wow, we're in a full stack already, that quickly. I didn't even try to get a full group going. It just happened so fast, and it gets even better. When we uh, searched up for a B2B match in Halo CE, we found a match, you know, a few seconds later. You know, previously, whenever I wanted to play B2B, in Halo CE, I'll have to keep backing out and restart and restart the search again. And it took me a long time to find a match. I'm sure you guys can re relate to this. You always have to keep backing out every time or make someone else as host to find a match in, in B2B. So after we had fun playing B2B, we all then decided to do a custom games night. And it was crazy. We had 16 players playing. We were we were a full stack. It was remarkable. It was like the old, you know, glory days of Halo. It felt like 2007 again. We had so many, we had so many people in our voice chat in Discord. It was a blast. One thing I don't have to be concerned about is when I ask people, "Do you play Halo MCC on Xbox or PC?" None of that really matters anymore. You know, as long as they have Halo MCC, we are good to go. What's really funny now is that you know previously I didn't have enough people to play with, but now it's more like I don't have enough room for other people to play with. That's what I'm dealing with right now because I'm always in a full stack and I have others you know, waiting to play with me. It's always packed and that's a beauty of it. However, I would like to point out that crossplay isn't available for campaign and Spartan Ops yet, which is kind of a bummer, but I do believe 343 will give us this future somewhere down the road. Currently, they are struggling with the netcode or something. I understand a lot of people will be frustrated by this, uh, but we all got to remember, Halo never had crossplay before. This future that 343 has implemented is a totally different ball game. Uh, they are learning on how this future works. Uh, they are going to take a while, you know, working in this future. Uh, there's also a problem where whenever I try to invite someone in my game, there's always an error popping up. Uh, and the way to fix this, I, I have to make a new lobby again. Uh, I think that happens because I have Xbox plays in my lobby. Uh, that could be the issue. Um, you know, but I do hope 343 do look into uh, fixing this issue. Um, I also want to point out for those people ha who have... Uh, the input base and platform based matchmaking making enabled. I highly recommend keeping keeping them both disabled because when I had one of them enabled, it was really hard for me to find a game. So make sure you guys you know keep these both uh, disabled. Overall, I'm so happy that we have crossplay finally. I can now play with other people that I wanted to play with for a long time. Uh, the next thing I'm looking forward to in the new season. Um, it's a server browser. Now combine that with crossplay. That will definitely bring a new era for custom games, no doubt. And this is something that not even Halo 3 and Halo Reach had in their prime. Uh, what I'm really hoping for is the server browser, you know, is to have official dedicated servers to allow players to have their dedicated servers running for 24-7. If you look at, you know, Halo Custom Edition, you know, or Halo 2 Project Cartographer, these games have a high population due to having proper dedicated server support. So please see 43 do make that do you know make it happen. So yes, I do hope the population for the Halo Master Chief Collection you know stay the way it is right now. Um, do remember this guys the population for the Halo MCC you know isn't you know amazing you know it's not like as if there's hundred thousand you know people playing because of crossplay. No absolutely not. But this crossplay future you know it has enough players you know playing together uh, it has helped out the play base. It brought all the Halo fans together, and it's and it's in a much better you know current state 
than it was previously. Anyways, I think that's it for today's video. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe and like the video and be sure to follow us on Twitch. We literally stream Hater on there every day. Uh, you can also join our Discord group. And let me know down in the comments below what do you guys think of Crossbay? Has it helped out the player base? And you know, are you finding games quicker? Uh, what do you guys think of it? And let me know down in the comments below. And I'll see you Spartans in the next video. Bye.